up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. Boo, 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 boo. Bebo. I am back once again for another year of the BET Awards 2015. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I wasn't that excited. I forgot that it was coming on until I saw some of the commercials and that was on Tracy Ellis Ross's Instagram and other people saying Miss P you gonna do a review and I was like oh my god it is about that time I just want to let you guys know that I am way up I feel blessed and I don't fuck with you I felt a little big Sean in my spirit so I just had to tell you guys that um shout out to you guys for live tweeting with me last night I had so much fun tweeting live for the BET Awards I saw so many memes it was ridiculous whoever gets these memes together so quickly you are the real MVP you're the real MVP make sure to go ahead and like this video subscribe if you haven't already it is free 99 and also get into my favorite app feature points it's amazing Kendrick Lamar opened the show we gonna be alright he had the whole stampede everybody was like hey hey it was a great opener it went well it it gelled it made sense MC light is the MC saying in the background yet again you better get your check MC light she chilling with her snack she got her paper on deck and she's like next up yes MC light I, I root for her if they ever pull MC light off we're gonna have problems Anthony Anderson and Tracy Ellis Ross were the hosts for this year and I was so excited about it why because I love Tracy Ellis Ross I want her body like that booty though and Anthony Anderson he's always been funny to me so putting them together they already gel well on blackish and I'm just glad that they asked them to host it was different it was funny it just gelled it was better than you know I can say previous host best actor went to Terrence Howard Lucius that went to him and he was holding it he said I'm gonna use this candle he was like this is for all of y'all the empire I was like you better thank people here comes Janelle Monae she levitating and giving y'all optical illusion I said yes Janelle, get off my areola. I think that is so hilarious. I just think that whole song is hilarious. I love it. The beat is dope. And here came, even there you go, right? Here came Finger Waves, classic man, Janelle. I love his performance. He's cute as a button, and I just love his little classic man feel. The energy was high. Everybody was enjoying it. But when classic man came on, it was a wrap. I was so shocked. I didn't know who was going to win best female rap artist i did not know and oh my god it went to Nicki minaj she came up there like i knew that <laughs> okay come on mom come on up here she was thanking her mama and she had to shout out in my baby meek i was like oh oh okay uh, oh now i am gonna take those heels off of Nicki's foot i really wanted those her bad shoe all night long loved it best male hip-hop went to kendrick lamar and why kendrick lamar he always looks so sleepy he looks so tired i just want him to come on over my house and he could have went to sleep the cast of the game introduced best male hip hop and it's going to be over in August. But I have to say, it's about that time for the game to wrap up. I haven't even watched since Melanie and Ding Dong, but they will be in the season finale. So, you know, everybody going to tune in. I was like, BT, I see what y'all doing. You bringing back T and Pooch. I see what you're doing. That makes a lot of sense, though. Tiger and Chris Brown to come out. They did. They performed. The only thing I can't do, the vocals, the backtrack, it was too high and he was running all over the place and he was trying to keep up i hated that all through this show with everybody it seemed like the vocals in the background were doing too much and i was like y'all gonna either lip sync or you either gonna sing live what you gonna do post the b came on and amarion came out popping and snaking for little saint and everybody was like oh my god post the b and then they panned to rihanna i said y'all some messy ass cameramen and she was like you gotta eat that booty like girl she, oh okay, okay. <laughs> chris brown if that boy can't do nothing else, that boy can dance. That boy good. Marion, buzz to be in his little sweatsuit. I was like, okay, get it in my go. I always love that they do the Music Matters segment. Avery Wilson was up there and he was singing his little buns off. And the haircuts on the young gentlemen these days. I'm just, it was like buzzed off in the center. And, you know, I, I don't talk about people's hair because I'm going to do what I want to with mine. So you just do that. The weekend came out. And speaking of hair, his hair. I know it's his staple, but it was so distracting to me because it was moving when he was moving, but like in a static motion. So I was just following his hair and I, I just love the weekend. I mean, just draws all on the TV. I was like, oh my God, I love this. And then all of a sudden, here came Alicia Keys. I know she got a version or something of that song, but Alicia, she was all over the place. Her key literally was all over the place i said alicia we're trying to follow you sweetheart but and then the weekend was like oh yeah 
in and Alicia was like oh so I was just trying to figure out how they were gelling and it just wasn't I was so glad when that performance was over because it was just Alicia your keys we're all over the place sweetie Calendria Rowling came out you better give us what was that you better give us fur puff black mourn grief you better give me all of that in one and the face was sitting it was just like i i just love calendria all together now and here came uncle charlie he is he stays ready uncle charlie stays on a 10 all the time he's like the uncle that you wanted to cook out to get everybody pumped and hey hey everybody okay uncle charlie come on back read the prompter he was like f this prompter best new artist is gonna be and it was for sam smith Anthony Anderson's crazy ass was in the audience posing as Sam Smith. Donnie McClurkin ended up doing a tribute to Andre Crouch and everybody was like, hallelujah. But then I just noticed that the gospel section keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it was just obsolete. Like, I don't know. They could have even had Erica Campbell over there. I love guy. You love guy. Bad boy. This was, this is. I have, okay, I'm I'm even stumbling over my words like Diddy was. I don't care when you turn on a bad boy hit. It could have been back in 94, 96, 99, uh, 2002. It still bumps to this day. I don't care how Diddy slided all them artists, okay? Uh, but the music is still it. Like, the music still go hard. So you can't even deny how good the music was. So I'm so glad they did, like, a, I guess it's their 20th anniversary. So they came together to do this all-star performance. Mace is always ready. He always ready to go. He's always ready. 112 is the eh. Wait, it's the kid. What? What did they say? It's been such a long time ago. Let me tell you what I want to do. I was like, come on, Slim. You better give it to me. Uh-oh. And he, he kind of got it at the end. I was like, okay, come on. Yeah, come on. Uh, after that, Faith came out. Did it, did it, did it. Uh, all I have to say, I wasn't even listening to Faith. I was just looking at how snatched that chick's waist was. Faith is the comeback snatched queen. I don't care. French Montana came out. I, You know what? Yes, I love that song, but French, I, any, okay, go ahead, friend, come, come on in. The locks came out, Jada Kiss, <laughs> I, I tried to do my Jada Kiss, I was excited about that, and I was just jamming, and then all of a sudden, Lil' Kim, oh, she popped the hell out of the flow, I said, shut the hell up, this chick that came out like hardcore, Indian style, out of the floor, I said, get it was a wrap when Lil' Kim came out. It was a wrap. And I thought it was over because they did like a little biggie thing at the end. But then Pharrell came out and Diddy, he was coming out too. Did y'all see Diddy fall in the flow? They didn't cover up the flow again. Lord, have BT, do better. Sean, look at the floor. And then it was a wrap. I was like, oh, okay. There was another Music Matters selection by Andra. I, is her name Andra? Andrea Day? Either way, boo can sing. Sing, boo. Diddy presented the Lifetime Achievement Award. He was a little nervous. He was flubbing a little bit. But as usual, he brought it back. He was like, hold up. I just performed 80 minutes of my life. I was tired. Let me redo this again. Bring the bring the prompter back. I love Smokey Robinson. He's like a pioneer in the music industry with all of his hits and he just been going and going and going and i have to say i just love me some Smokey robinson and he is so cute i just oh my god i want to put him in my pocket i just think he's amazing and he's like how old is he like 80 like he he's getting up there but he is so he's such a cutie and yes i'm still lusting after Smokey robinson and he's like my grand he could be like my granddaddy he, he could for the tribute tori kelly came out i love Tori. you better sing bitch robin thick came out you know what i was enjoying his little swooning i'm still a little mad at robin I, I you know what i'm gonna let you come back in robin but you're not all the way into my heart again i'm sorry i'm you're just not neo came out you know neo i like neo i really do i enjoy his music live it's either hit or miss for him sometimes but this one good job neo smokey came up he got his award he was like hold this for me brother let me let me speak to y'all and smokey was preaching smokey did that i mean he gave everybody else like they little part but he came out and everybody was like you better sing that smokey i was like yes do it smokey do it smokey smokey was on fire meek mill 
Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown came out to perform. And uh, you know what, Chris? I enjoyed his part of the performance. Was it just me or was the whole time it was a little awkward between Nicki and Meek? I didn't know if they were gonna kiss or nah. Like, I was like, what are y'all gonna do? I was a little confused. The Citric Award went to The Weeknd and The Weeknd were like, I'm leaving. Keisha Cole is doing her album independently and Monica is coming out with a new album and everybody was like, Okay. The Empire performance happened. Drip, drop, drip, drip, and it drop. I really enjoy Yaz. Is his name Yaz? I'm a, I am like his presentation. He's always in character. I enjoy it. And uh, Sarai, I love her as well. I just enjoy them together. I thought their performances were super, super cute. Um, When Jesse came out, I love Jesse. I absolutely love him. I enjoyed the energy that Jesse was given, but the vocal box just wasn't giving it to me on the performance. It wasn't. I enjoyed what he was bringing. I enjoyed that he was amped about it. And everybody was like, hey, yes, stop it. Go up, down, up, down, up, down. But the vocal, I just I just couldn't with it last night. I love Empire and I love the music on Empire. So I was jamming either way. Anthony Hamilton and Gary Clark, they did the tribute to B.B. King, Percy Sledge, and others. And it was good. I was like, yes, Anthony, take me to church. Like, I felt like, oh, oh, Anthony, his voice is just struggle. That's all it, when it comes comes out you like oh yes yes same i love this way i feel blessed big sean came out in his trench coat i was like okay uh oh okay okay all right i don't fuck with you everybody was vibing and then e40 came out i was like okay e40 hello it's good to see you it was a great performance full of energy i'm a big sean i love his music i really do deborah lee came out i always look forward to deborah lee and she always presents the. why am i doing that she always presents the humanitarian award and this one went to l L L, it's the time joiner morning show. Tom Joyner, he been putting in work for a long time, so kudos to Tom Joyner. Now you know when Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis come out, they about to talk about Jen. We were all excited and waiting. It was about 11 o'clock. Janet received the Ultimate Icon Award, and here came Jason Derulo, Tanache, and Sierra. They came out and did like the All Star performance. Tanache did good. She had great energy. Jason Derulo, he came out and danced his little buns off. But Sierra came out and shat on everybody. She was like, "Hold up, I've been waiting for this." Let me give it to you like it's never been brought to you. you understand me? And then Janet's little music, her new music started. And everybody was like, uh-oh, here comes Janet. But Janet came out. She was like, oh, no, bitches. I'm not performing this evening. You have to come to my concerts that are coming out later this year. Okay, um, thank you guys so much. Um, I want to thank my fulfillionaire husband. And, uh, yes, keep all of your edges because I'm sitting tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, um, God bless you. Without God, nothing is possible. Joseph, hi Joseph, hey mother. And um, yeah, y'all be easy and I'll see you on tour. God bless, yeah. BT made us think that, uh, or maybe I just assumed this, that Janet was gonna do a little boom cat on us one time. She didn't. She was like, uh-uh, nah, bitch, ain't no dancing, bitch. Fandemonium Award and the best male R&B went to Mr. Christopher Brown for the 800th year in a row. I mean, Christopher, he always gets that award. Why? Because he is the comeback king and his fans do support him and the music speaks for itself. So he came back and of course, you know, what he always said, you know, I'm not good with speeches. Um, Y'all been with me from through the ups and the downs when I was fat, when I was little, you know, coming back. And um, I just have to say this for my daughter. And uh, yeah, y'all be good. Stay up. Be blessed. Yeah. I was like, you know what? There you go, Christopher. There, you stay up. You stay blessed. Was that a bulletproof vest? Apron situation? I don't know. Okay, Michelle came out and she ripped off her little whatever that was. And all we saw was thigh and ass. And I was like, you better give us a performance, K. Michelle. I love K. Michelle's album. I was rude for her to perform this okay she performed and it was something it just wasn't gelling I just wasn't getting it vocally like I wanted and then here came Tamar coming in like the Pink Panther da -da, da -da, da -da. and I love Tamar I love her antics I love her on the reel and I love her music but it was something last night. It was, I guess it was the uh, facial expressions while she was performing, the makeup, the dress. It was just, it wasn't coming together for me at all. Even though she sang, she did her good singing. But then they both came out and were hollering at each other. And I was like, somebody break up the monotony. And here came 
the saving vocal grace that is Miss Patty LaBelle. Patricia came out and she was like, look at here, you little helpers. You us right now. I'm going to sing this. Both of you shut up. And she came out and she did her good singing. And she shat on the whole performance. Viewer's Choice went to Nicki Minaj, that song only. And she came out and you know how she normally does. She was like, you know, I love you guys. I do. And then she was like, what the hell what award is this i was like no that is the last thing i'm not even an artist okay and i know not to say what award is this you could have just said and i just want to thank all of my fans i love you guys that's what you've been saying girl what the hell is wrong with you you know she always got them crazy as hell acceptance speeches but she had to clean that up real good i was like nikki what the hell what are you doing rihanna she had all of the moments at the bt awards last night i mean they were queuing to her with floyd she was tying up people she had to duct tape they were just so excited that she was there okay so she came out and she was like the only reason i am presenting or here tonight is to show you guys a trailer for my new uh song bitch better have my money it comes out on thursday y'all better watch it uh here you go that that's all i wanted to do y'all be y'all be good bye i was like okay rihanna you better come here and drop stuff that's what you do tracy ellis ross came out her and anthony anderson for the end and she had she was like i'm a trap queen i just love tracy ellis ross if y'all don't follow her on instagram please do and get all of your abundant life i just loved her and then came fetty wop we were all waiting for Fetty Wap all night long. And personally, I just thought that should have had like a nice little medley because it was just da -da -da. I enjoy Fetty Wap. I really, really do. But overall, this was a pretty good BET Awards. I enjoyed it. It was better than the past couple of years, I will admit. It was a pretty good, solid show. Down below, let me know what were your favorite performances. Um, who did you think should have won? Let's just talk about it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, these were my opinions. If you have opinions, comment down below. I would love to see them. I will see you on the next review. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!